Hello there, my name is Kristen Wilson. I will be presenting over my project entitled The Microbial Loop's Influence on the Carbon Cycle in the Deep Ocean. Um, so, dock concentrations are high in the surface ocean and they get lower as the depth increases, and this is because um, refractory dock and semilabial dock, which has have lifetimes of a few millennia to a couple of months to a couple of years, are all produced um, here in the surface ocean. Um, and then uh, pox sinks down and dissolved organic carbon is advected down with the, surf uh, with the ocean currents, as you can kind of see. This creates the vertical gradient. Um, refractory dock, because of its lifetime, is really difficult to simulate. So in any simulation, you will see just the semilabial dock concentrations. Um, so carbon is important to have a better understanding of because it's important. It's the substrate for biological activity and is necessary for life. And the ocean is one of the largest reservoirs of anthropogenic carbon. So having a good understanding of um, how much carbon is stored and how that might change with changes to climbing forces is important um, for understanding understanding um, better how future climate scenarios might look. Um, the model I will be using is the Community Earth System Model version 2, um, which is a comprehensive climate model that has several components that each represent a different part of the global ecosystem, and they exchange information through a central coupler called SEAM5. Um, the ocean component has 60 vertical layers that are smaller at the top and um, get bigger as the depth increases, and the same, uh, and the atmosphere component has 32 vertical layers with a one degree resolution. Um, and for my experiments, I will be using a one degree by one degree horizontal resolution. Um, the schematic shown um, is how marine organic matter is cycled in CSM2 in the Marine Biogeochemistry Library. So DOC and POC are created in the surface. Um, DOC R, refractory DOC, is converted to semi-labial DOC by the UV radiation in the surface ocean. Um, portions of semi-labial DOC are converted to DOC R. POC again sinks to depths where it's then substrate for bacterial metabolism. Um, and then bacteria will remineralize the um, semi-labial DOC into CO2 or uh, dissolved inorganic carbon. So my project, I will uh, collect observational data and then create um, and run a fully coupled CSM2 case for 100 years. I will incorporate a bacterial component into another case and again run it for 100 years and then compare the outputs of the two runs. Um, and I will be using the subsects that weren't used for initialization to help validate control my, my control cases and then my sensitivity experiments with the microbial loop. So um, with DOC observations and um, with DOC simulations, sample DOC is, includes semi-labial DOC and refractory DOC. Because when you're sampling, you just sample everything, whereas with model simulations, you only see the semi-labial DOC since refractory DOC is really hard um, to simulate. So the average value of DOC in the Pacific Ocean is 38 micromolar, and the Atlantic Ocean, it's a little bit higher at 44 micromolar, and the average disparity between model and between modeled DOC and, sim and uh, observational DOC is about 3 to five, 4 micromolar throughout the water column. This figure down here demonstrates the different portions of um, refractory dock to semi-refractory um, and semi-labial dock. So we see the largest portion of the marine um, carbon storage is of refractory dock, which is harder to simulate. Um, when we look at um, semi-labial dock, we can also see it as biodegradable dock, since it's the fraction dock that's readily available for biological processes. Um, when we model just this, we see high concentrations in the North Atlantic, and when we compare that to a previously run um, uh, bacterial case in a different model, in the Hammock 2 model, um, we see dispar discrepancies between a regular run and a bacterial component run, so there's already some improvements in, western, in the western boundaries of some um, continents. Um, but we still see a general low uh, dock B uh, concentrations in the deep ocean. So in conclusion, um, disparities between the model output and observations could be from a lack of knowledge of how um, bacteria breaks down semilabial dock into refractory dock or breaks down POC into, into semilabial dock. So this needs to be better parameterized, understood, and then um, determining the temperature difference of bacterial biomass is important for determining how this loop will react to future changes in climates and forcings. Thank you.